All right, hey everybody, this is Professor Klein back in the Human Anatomy Lab at Ohio University. And today I want to talk to you about the hand bones. All right, we got the hand bones here and I want to go through them anteriorly first and then I will flip it over to the posterior side. Just the bone, so let's jump on through this. First, this is the radius. The radius is wider at the wrist, more narrow at the elbow. The ulna, which is on the other side, is wider at the elbow, more narrow at the wrist. And it's really this radius that articulates with what we call the carpal bones. Carpal bones are these eight different bones wedged together in the wrist area. Now, these bones, and I'll name them in a moment, a moment, extend out to the digits. Digit one, digit two, three, four, and five. In between the carpals and what we refer to as the phalanges are the metacarpals. So these right here are the metacarpals. Metacarpal one, metacarpal two, three, four, and five. Additionally, you have more than just one phalange. In the thumb, you have a proximal phalange and a distal phalange, the tip of the finger. But in all the other digits, digits two through five, you have a proximal phalange, a middle phalange, and a distal phalange as well. So the thumb is unique with only having a proximal phalange and distal phalange. Keeping it going. Back to these carpal bones. What do we have? Well, when I look at the carpals and I teach these in lab, I say look at the size, the location, and the shape of each bone. And when you do that, you see one big bone in the middle. This big bone is called the capitate. The capitate bone is in line with the third digit. So I like to say this is the captain bone of the hand. Captains of a ship would stand in the middle of the ship and they are big and in charge and they have all the authority of the hand like this capitate. Next up, over here, we've got the hamate. And the hamate has a bony landmark on it called the hook of hamate. Continuing with our pirate theme here, the hamate is in line right next to the captain. So that's like the first mate of the ship stands right next to the captain and is ready to take any orders the captain might have. Additionally, pirates have hooks. Lots of pirates have hooks. They've lost their hands in some battle. So this hook of handmate hopefully reminds you of the pirate theme. Furthermore, it's in line with the fourth digit, fourth and fifth, but mainly the fourth here. And when you find your mate, whoever that might be, you put a ring on the fourth digit, that's the ring finger. So ham mate is in line with the fourth digit. Keeping it going, this next one actually is two bones together. This bottom part is the triquetrum, triquetrum, and then the top part is the PC form. So the PC form is like a P-shaped bone that sits on top of the triquetrum, both in line with the fifth digit. Keeping it going over here, let's go down and around. We've got the lunate. The lunate kind of looks like a lunar shape, like the moon, the moon, lunar moon here. Just kind of circular, but not a perfect circle. Definitely not a circle, more of an S shape over here is this bone. This is the scaphoid bone. The scaphoid bone has an S curve to it. 
and it articulates with the radius. So does the lunate. So these two articulate with the radius. Nothing from the carpals articulates with the ulna. Only the radius articulates with these bones. Furthermore, let's hit it up here. Let's go to the trapezium. I love the trapezium because the trapezium is in line with the thumb. Trapezium, thumb, kind of rhymes a little bit. Maybe not, maybe so. But in my mind, it rhymes and it helps to remember that the trapezium is in line with the thumb. You get a little bit of a tubercle. See that little bump on the top of the trapezium? That's the tubercle of the trapezium right there. And that brings us to our last one, also a T bone, but this one is the trapezoid bone. Trapezoid bone, it is trapped in between the trapezium, the capitate, the scaphoid. It is right in there, in line with the second digit. All right, let's flip these on over and see if you can name them from this side. I'm gonna give you a little bit of time with each so you can try to name them. Let's go in the same order and let's start here. Can you remember what is the name of the big bone in the middle that's in line with the third digit? Here's a hint if you remember that I said this is like the captain bone and it is the capitate bone. It's in the middle third digit. Good. Next up, this one. It's mostly in line with the fourth digit. It's next to the captain on the ship and it's the ring finger. So this is the handmade. All right, if you got handmade, good job with that one. This is a tough one. Handmade. Now notice the hook of handmate is only on the anterior side. It is not posterior. So flip it back over. See that hook of hammate right there? That is only anterior. That is not found on the posterior side. It's smooth on this side. Let's keep it rolling here. And we get down and this is the one that's two bones. And I'll show you both bones here on the side. But from a posterior view, you can only see the triquetrum. You can't see the pisiform from there, so I'll keep it posterior. Only the triquetrum from a posterior view in line with the fifth digit. Lunate's up next. Lunar, moon, lunate right here. I didn't really give you some time. Sorry on that one. Let me give you some time on this next one. What is the name of this bone right here? This bone right here. Here's a hint. It's got the S curve too, a little bit of an S curve. And if you guessed scaphoid, you would be correct. It is a scaphoid bone. In line with this last bone with the thumb, two bones with the thumb here, scaphoid and trapezium. This is a trapezium in line with the first digit, which leaves this last one smashed in here. If you guessed the trapezoid, you would be correct. Good job. Good job. And let me know in the comments how many correct ones you got there. Stop the video. Go back. Rewatch. If you missed a lot, it's okay. Everyone has to start somewhere. Even I, when I first learned these bones, I would get like maybe one, two of them correct the first time I tried to test myself but I didn't give up I kept going and eventually I learned all eight of them I learned everything on them and you can too so take some time let me know in the comments any mnemonics you have for these hand bones and I'd be very curious to learn from you all ways that you remember those bones